Later today, students will return to the Florida High School where a mass shooting took the lives of 17 of their classmates and teachers. The tragedy happened less than two weeks ago. Well, CBS News' Lauren Victory is here now with how the children are mustering up the courage to enter back into that school. Well, Suzanne, we know it is far from easy. Supportive services will be available at today's afternoon orientation for the 3,000 students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High and their parents. Classes start again on Wednesday. Today is optional for students, as it was Friday for Stoneman Douglas teachers. All faculty members showed up for the emotional reunion anyway. They held and hugged each other with counselors and therapy dogs standing by. Broward School Superintendent says it was a time to connect and work on a transition back to class. He and others also spent the day discussing a recent proposal by President Donald Trump to give teachers guns as a school shooting deterrent. I am totally against arming teachers um, with that. And you know, let's, it, it's, not, it's not just about me, you just go talk to teaching professionals of whether that makes sense. To say that, you know, we're packing is going to keep somebody out, I don't believe that's the case. The Broward County Sheriff's Office ordered armed deputies on campus until further notice. Some students say they won't go back to Stoneman Douglas at all. At least one tells CBS News she'll finish the year online and spend the rest of her time fighting for gun control. Suzanne. Thanks so much, Lauren. And those hats that were worn by the Cubs, the Stoneman Douglas hats, they're going to be going up for auction tonight on Cubs.com slash auction. The Cubs wore those caps in their spring training game Friday. Proceeds from that auction will now benefit the official Stoneman Douglas Victims Fund to help the families of the 17 people killed in a mass shooting there that Lauren just spoke about.